Building a Global Insect Map by Doctor. My overview of necessary market requirements for global insect monitoring. During the last decade, total insect populations around the world have diminished by an alarming 41%, putting world food security in a vulnerable position. The causes of this are largely attributed to intense agricultural practices, such as extensive usage of insecticides and pesticides that are detrimental to beneficial insects, including pollinators, such as bees, butterflies, and ladybugs. Introduction to the Insect Monitoring Case Study by Rhinan Technologies. Rhinan Technologies has been performing analyses upon various government agricultural agencies located in the Mekong Delta, tracking their rice cultivation activities and gathering data about the behavior of insects in the area. Typically, farmers have manually undertaken the task of counting and identifying bugs. Through research and surveys, it became evident that, despite being knowledgeable about the roles of insects, they would only pay particular attention and concern to the number of pests, failing to give just as much consideration to two other insect groups, the harmless and natural enemy bugs. This accounted for the miscalculated pesticide utilization, often resulting in over-application that brought about contamination, poisoning, and the eradication of the whole insect population, along with the loss of their natural habitat and the critical pollinating activities that are necessary for crops and the surrounding regions. The Hypothesis We theorize that the application of ecological balance in agriculture will be a crucial step towards sustainable development for farming activities in the particular area, economically, environmentally, and socially. To this end, we categorize and assess the ratio of pests in order to monitor them. In the case of the rice fields in Mekong Delta, we focus on the brown plant hopper pest and its natural enemies, the myriad bug. When the BPH-MRB ratio remains beneath two, no pesticide should be implemented whereas if it crosses the threshold, pesticides must be applied at a recommended amount. Methodology IPM, insect pest management, processes serve as the established protocol for controlling pests at Mekong agriculture farms. Rhinan Technologies has taken steps to upgrade this process, utilizing technology to reduce required time, conserve labor, improve accuracy, and provide data-driven predictions. The insect monitoring system, IMS, an IoT device, incorporates all steps into one system, in addition to a mobile app for convenient remote monitoring. Inspection and monitoring. Light traps, pheromone traps, and other lures are employed to attract insects, which are then manually captured. Identification and counting. Using a built-in algorithm, the insect monitoring system is able to classify the insects into three groups, harmless, HL, pests, P, and natural enemies, NE. Powerful meteorological forecasting capabilities permit adjustments to be rapidly made based on changing weather. Planning, according to thresholds. A built-in IPM system supplies farmers with recommended actions if the insect numbers are not ideal. Implementation of IPM tactics. While primarily chemical control is the most widely accepted and effective option, Old generation farmers are also sophisticated in their understanding of other tactics, including biological, mechanical, and cultural control. Record keeping and evaluation of effectiveness. Information is instantly retrievable and can be easily converted to visual graphs for analysis and comparison. Records must be kept manually in order to apply for a unique farm code, and there is minimal monitoring of environmental measurements such as soil and water condition so effects of the pest management system are rarely reported. Case Studies Rhinan Technologies has worked together with the Department of Agriculture and Rural Development in various Mekong Delta provinces to collect insect-related data, formulate algorithms, and construct the insect monitoring system. International Fund for Agricultural Development, IFAD, also sponsored a project in Pu Khan in associated with Vietnam's headline Climate Change Agriculture Project, the IMS is flexible and can be configured for any kind of climate, crop, or requirement. 